Hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how to make this awesome igloo. If you can't see Chocolate Bullet Tidy in this one right now, she is loving it. She always loved to sleep in that spot because Pip and Squeak would push her out of this spot and for some reason she wouldn't want to go in there. So I put a little igloo here so that she would be more protected. And she loves it. Of course, sometimes Pip or somebody, I don't know how it gets there, but somehow it appears there on top of that other igloo or appears in the middle of the ramp or somewhere. But if that happens, I just move it straight back up and next thing I know, chocolate ball, it's back in sleeping there again. So I'm going to show you how to make it today. Just letting you know that not all guinea pigs will be able to fit in this thing. Chocolate Bullet is a young guinea pig, so she's able to fit. But Pip, but Pip and Squeak wouldn't be able to fit in here, especially not Squeak. Pip probably be able to fit, but she wouldn't really sleep in it because she has this certain position to sleep in. So you need some scissors and you need an empty ice cream box. And then you simply cut, sorry, you simply cut a square there. It's hard to do this when you only got one hand. This is very hard to do with this hand. <coughs> um, two seconds. Make sure that the door opening is big enough for your guinea pig. This can be very good if you are having a growing guinea pig, like a baby guinea pig. If you wanted to, you could have it like this, where the guinea pig has to do the work itself. But of course, I'm not, but I'm not going to do that. And Make it a little bit wider. A little bit higher. Just in case you don't know, chocolate bullet is probably pregnant, like she's been with a male for three weeks, so I really hope she's pregnant. And the baby guinea pigs will come in what is now about five or four weeks so you guys should be looking forward to a lot more cuteness and hopefully a lot of popcorning <laughs> who doesn't like popcorning huh so there's that that's not a very good cut but there's the igloo getting to don't mind about how they look I'm going to put this one here. Here we go. So that's how you make this adorable little igloo. Thank you for watching. 